Hi, I'm Wade Kings. Welcome to We Built This City. Today, we're in Smithfield, Rhode Island, where we're gonna meet with Rick Hall of French Design Builders. French Design Builders is a full-service design-build construction company. We're gonna get a chance to sit down with Rick and talk a little bit about the company and see some great examples of some excellent buildings. Let's go meet up with Rick now. And Rick, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Wade. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to be here. And we're actually in the Lightelier building. And where are we exactly? Uh, we're in the boardroom at Lightelier okay. uh, in Fall River, Massachusetts. This is Lightelier's world headquarters. Okay. And uh, they have a, a beautiful industrial park here, and their building is really a highlight building within cool. that park. And before we get started talking about Lightelier specifically, I guess I want to congratulate you as well. This is 10 years, 10-year uh, anniversary uh, this year with, for, uh, for French Design Builders. Yeah, 10, ten years, Wade, and uh, as French Design Builders, uh, it's been a long 10 years, but a successful 10 years, a lot of hard work, but it's been enjoyable, and uh, we, you know, hopefully reaping the benefits. Well, you know, I've, I've had a chance to kind of walk through the light of their building here, and uh, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, what you've done here is really, really nice. It's, it's updated, it's modern. I, I imagine that if I worked here, this would be a great environment to work in. Yeah, Wade, uh, their um, light of Lear's 100th anniversary was uh, coming up uh, five years ago, and they had uh, one year to, uh, uh, had marching orders to have a whole new look on the building without spending a lot of money. It's a public company, they're very budget conscious. Um, it is a multinational company, uh, but they really wanted to get a new look without um, going way overboard. And um, they came to us, uh, we uh, matched up with a designer who uh, did a wonderful job uh, putting it together with the architecture, and uh, we fully executed this project with uh, them in full business. Out, in, out any interruptions, gave them the whole look, new look that they were looking for, and on their 100th anniversary, people came in from all over the world and were just, uh, you know, their eyes were open to thinking that Light O'Lear just built a completely new building. Fantastic. Well, that's a job well done, I'd say. Now, uh, in terms of this building here, let's talk about what you did exactly. Uh, I know that there's an addition on this building, correct? Tell me about that. Yeah, we put a, a small addition. The building was uh, rather plain looking uh, to begin with, very industrial and it was built uh, about 30 years ago and we decided to in order to give a, a new look that we would focus on the entryway um, we closed off the, the existing driveway uh, built a little uh, courtyard and put on a glass uh, a glass addition uh, with some different type of treatment with screening uh, that you can see on the, in the pictures uh, that uh, really gave it was it was about uh, 200 square foot addition that gave the this uh, 150,000 square foot building a whole new appearance. Absolutely, it looks great and, and I understand too it's also a little more functional for them in terms of being able to bring clients in and show them uh, well the history of the company, uh, product line, tell me about that. Right, yeah, you come into the building, it's a much more welcoming uh, entryway now, automatic doors lead you into a, a nice uh, airy, very well lit um, atrium and you can uh, proceed upstairs into a uh, museum area that uh, covers the hundred year of history that Light um has been through and that's an automated program that uh, runs through and then leads you into a display area so clients can really uh, from the moment they walk in get the feel that they're uh, in a great space they're the product of lighting which Light O'Lear specializes in is displayed all throughout the facility and, and things just uh, you know, uh, attract people. It's a, it's all. If you could have seen the building before and what it looks like now, with the simple uh, work that we did, it, it uh, really is, is something that you can focus on, and it sells their product very, very well. I, I imagine it does. Now, in in terms of uh, this build out, in some of the discussion of what we've seen and what we talked about uh, earlier today. I imagine you've got to work with a lot of different subcontractors and that's, that's a big important job for you because you have to orchestrate this entire process to make sure that it goes off seamlessly, goes off well so that in the end, in the end result you've got a beautiful product for your clients. Yes, yeah. I, I, French design builders, we, we work with a, from the team aspect uh, approach and uh, we, do, we do not personally perform any of the work ourselves. It's 100% subcontracted. Uh, there were probably 40 different subcontractors used on this project, project and uh, the coordination is, uh, is very critical. Uh, you're needing your uh, electricians in at the time they're needed in, the stud people at the time they're needed. Uh, the owners had a lot of their own lighting equipment that needed to be put in. We needed to coordinate that aspect of it. 
Um, they had new products that hadn't even been, when we started this project, hadn't even been designed yet that wanted to be incorporated into this. We needed to coordinate that not only with the owners, with their design team, but also with our people that were going to be installing this equipment that they'd never seen before. Um, but yeah, the, the coordination of those subcontractors and staying on top of it, uh, one, one miss in the schedule uh, is a uh, missed opportunity right down the line. It's a sequential problem that you can have. We were on a very tight time schedule here. Their, their 100th anniversary was a very specific date and we, uh, we met that date and uh, it was through that uh, very tight coordination that we were able to do that. And of course, while that's going on, the business is still being run. Everybody is still in here at their cubicles doing what they had to do. And I think uh, you and I were talking earlier and you even mentioned that you guys were sort of taking down office walls and, and folks were just on the other side of that wall still working and doing business. Yeah, correct, Wade. We were, um, the, the one thing here is a unique situation. This isn't a, a new building. We're working in an existing building with no room to move people around in order to uh, accommodate the construction. So we uh, actually worked with people at their cubicles up to where their cubicle was that, that day, that cubicle, that night when that cubicle would be moved, carpet would be put down, ceiling would go over their head, painting would go on. Uh, we did everything we could during the daylight hours, which was substantial. They were very good to work around, but also we, need, we were very sensitive to their needs with running their business and not being able to uh, upset that. Absolutely. Now, you know, this business here is, it's been brought up in terms of this newer space here for this business. Uh, we've got a lot of great technological well, I don't want to call them advantages. They're, they're what we need to run day-to-day -day business. And so, tell me about bringing uh, bringing this building up to speed in terms of um, data lines and, and the newer phone lines and so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, the one thing during the reconstruction was that they wanted to bring everything up to date, up to new terms. It, you know, like I said, the building was originally built 30 years ago. Uh, they had all new communication systems, and a, a new uh, mainframe computer was being installed, and all of that was being rewired with, uh, while well, the walls and ceilings were open for the short periods of time that they were, the data people were in putting in all CAT5, CAT6 cabling uh, for telephone, data, everything, all brought up to speed. Um, even in the lighting controls, which Lightalier had uh, designed all new controls for this space, they'd never used them before. The whole, all that had to be redone. And they're in that business. They designed this uh, system specifically for this project and uh, all, all of that automated control, lighting controls, remote control sp points were all, uh, were all installed at the same time. Rick, these are big feats to get done for a company in such a short time. Yeah, it, was, uh, it really was a feat. You know, we're proud of the, uh, uh, the results, obviously. Lightalier was very proud of the results. And uh, that's one of, our, uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves in at French Design Builders is being customer oriented and being able to uh, complete things on, on time and on schedule with a very high level of quality. We were looking to build a new building and uh, so we started a search process um, in which we looked at several possibilities as a design build firm. And uh, we chose French because we found that from the standpoint of what they could deliver from a design standpoint as well as from a um, construction standpoint sort of fit our needs from a, we wanted a sort of a high-tech building with a very tight delivery um, and they were able to do exactly what we asked. Uh, the building process with French was really, uh, I have to say, very smooth. After we got over the initial hurdles of uh, permitting and weather, the build went extremely smoothly um, and we didn't experience really any delays getting into the building. Um, we found that their scheduling was right on. We dealt with French and for all the other parts of the building, electrical, the flooring, the heat, they brought all the uh, other trades in and made sure that they, that the other trades, fulfilled our requirements and it was, for us, a very seamless, very smooth process. Well, we had had discussions with French uh, as we were going through the design phase as to what we expected from the standpoint of quality of finish, quality of products in the building, and the types of features or fixtures that we wanted in the building. And um, French met those uh, requirements and gave us what I think is a very, very good building at a very fair price and um, 
made for a very, very good relationship with uh, the French organization. Uh, I think French has an interesting network of, of customers, and when we were choosing our builder, we talked to some uh, people who had used French, and they were very complimentary and, and were instrumental in having us choose French. Now, having experienced the French build, we would similarly uh, recommend French to other prospective customers because we felt we've got a, what we wanted in the time frame that we wanted at a very fair price. So Rick, we've got 10 years as French design builders, but let's talk about experience and how long you've really been in the business. Uh, Wade, the company, uh, we've been in business for 10 years as, as the company is now. The company has roots that go date back to 1938. Oh, okay. And uh, my partner and I actually worked for that company for 15 years prior to us uh, taking over and, and moving the company into a more of the uh, commercial industrial design build field. Um, we uh, have a lot of experience in uh, commercial industrial construction. We really don't do anything in residential fields. Uh, we've seen cycles go through from 10 years ago. We were really doing a lot of uh, industrial space. Now things are going more to commercial office and a lot of medical type uh, of uh, business. And that's probably the thing of the future, at least for the foreseeable future right okay. now. Why'd you guys spin off? What, what made you sort of decide to go out on your own? The, uh, the, the parent company that we worked for was really uh, had gone into uh, being a developer for his own account. Okay. And we uh, saw that there was a real market for third party construction way beyond just building for your own account. So uh, we, my partner and I decided that we would go off on our own into, uh, into that field and been very successful. It makes it sense. It's a good thing. And actually we've gotten into development of our own. It's a kind of a natural progression from construction into development. And, uh, you know, it's uh, looking back on the experience that we had with the, with the parent company prior to going uh, on our own, uh, that, that, really, that really paid off. Absolutely. A lot more control, and I think it allows you to offer your clients much more than just the build service. Yes, yeah. We, we uh, offer a, 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 real, a relationship with our clients. Um, when we meet a client, we uh, usually it's a negotiated contract type of an, of, of an agreement and we take everything from the design right through to the uh, finished construction. We can, uh, it's, it's, it's one shot, one stop shopping as far as the customer is concerned. We control civil engineering, the architecture on, on retainer, uh, and the full construction. Sometimes we, we say from, uh, from trees to keys. <laughs> That's very good. The whole project. Now permitting as well, correct? Yeah, permitting, and, and permitting has become more and more of a, uh, of a uh, one of the issues that you have to work with sure. in the construction field. It uh, um, takes a lot longer to permit uh, through zoning and planning in the different towns that you work in and the building permit. So it's a, it's a very, very um, time-consuming part of the business, but it's a, a needed part of it to, to move things along. Absolutely, and that's what makes sense, right? You've, you've got a, a, a committed time frame to your clients, and well, you can't let the permitting slow you down, so you guys handle that as well. Yes, that's correct. We handle all, all the permitting right through from, from zoning review right through to uh, building permit through to certificate of occupancy. Fantastic. So who are we building for? Obviously here we're at Light Lear still, and uh, we know what they do, but that's not your only clientele. You can build for whom? Yeah, we build for uh, really any commercial industrial account. Okay. We, uh, like I said, we do a lot of uh, uh, commercial office buildings. Medical has been really in the last five years probably our primary uh, clientele. Uh, we do uh, work in the boating businesses in, in the New England, southern New England area. The boating industry is one of the only real industries where things are made that's, that's thriving. <laughs> we do a fair amount of work in that, uh, in that line of business. Okay. Now, Rick, you've mentioned partners. Let's talk about them for a second. Yes, I have. Uh, when we started the company uh, 10 years ago, uh, Jim Vaughn, my primary partner, he and I had worked for the uh, parent company for 15 years together, and we, uh, we, we took the, uh, on the new, uh, the new business, and we brought on a, another uh, person, Mark Jaquith, who's a, a partner of ours. He also worked for uh, the previous company, not for as many years, we brought on, and the three of us as a team have really work things out to uh, where we've divided up the chores that need to be done in the company and work very successfully together. Well, again, it's about efficiencies, right? That's correct, yeah. That, that's what makes everything go. Absolutely. So 
Rick, we're standing out in front of the Aronian building. This is another one of your buildings. And I think it's important for us to be here today because I want our viewers to really get uh, the idea that you're not building cookie cutter uh, buildings. They're all sort of custom built based around your clients needs their function of their business and in this case the aesthetics correct yes wait yeah this building is you can see is is uh, very unique uses the elements of wood stone uh, much different than you saw at light and the Absolutely. other buildings they have deep window boxes uh, it was designed by Aronian Associates, who happens to be our architect that's on retainer. Okay. Uh, he used us to uh, execute the project, which is a, a good thing. And um, it really, the way the b building fits in here, it, it's different than any other building in the area. Um, the natural elements along with the landscaping, it's, it's a uh, kind of a sparse uh, look, more of a plains look maybe that you would see. But um, it, it, you know, it, it, it just fits in and it really shows that uh, other other building techniques and other materials can be used. Absolutely. This is sort of reminiscent of the Frank Lloyd Wright uh, Prairie style homes that uh, were built. Yes, exactly. Now yeah. this is, uh, this was, looks like we had uh, a certain few things in mind in terms of functionality. I see that we've got a couple suites on here, so obviously this space wasn't strictly for Aronian. They had some things in mind. Why don't you tell me about the functionality of the overall building? Yeah, the building itself wasn't, it, he, he at first wanted to build offices for himself, and then we really had the idea that why don't you expand that? You have enough room. Uh, on the land to put the parking in to be able to have more space for uh, tenant space. Leasable space uh, gets him income, actually pays for the building Absolutely. and uh, works out well. And when we approach uh, projects like that, we always bring that up with, with owners. Uh, look at the future, look at other alternatives. Don't just look at your own, very own needs. Uh, there may be another possibility there that uh, ended up here working out very well. Absolutely. Here you were able to give them some residual income that helps pay for the building with, with the tenants there. Yeah, exactly. Now, interior-wise, we've got a uh, pretty expansive space, some really open spaces. Let's talk about that. Yeah. The, uh, one thing that John wanted to do was make sure that the space was open, uh, open to the outdoors. Uh, it has window walls from floor to roof line, uh, two-story atriums. Um, just a very nice working atmosphere for his people. They, they're working in architecture. He wants them to have that creative mind working and to look out into the woods and see nice things. Uh, you know, that re really helps them out. I agree. You know, that's one of the things I noticed in this building were all the windows. Uh, it really opens up to a nice looking space. And if, again, we, we talked about this at Light Allier. We're creating spaces that people would like to work in. And I, and I understand that that's probably what a lot of people who are building their businesses today or building their buildings uh, are looking for, a space that they can feel comfortable in because they're in it for at least eight hours a day, in some cases more. Yeah, right. It's, it's comfort of your employees, and that really uh, helps them out in, in getting their job done, making them feel good about where they are working, wanting to come to work every day, uh, you know, enthused and, and feeling good about it. Absolutely. So it, it's, it's not just uh, from the owner's standpoint, it's from the employee's standpoint. Agreed. Too. Agreed. So Rick, today we've had a chance to look at a number of different buildings. We've looked at the Lightelier building, the Aronian building, we've talked about the FedEx building that you're, that you're working on presently, and really those couldn't be more distinct in terms of their functionality, their usage, and, and their style. You know, you're building great products for your clients, you're building them uh, with value in mind and with, in some cases, the aesthetics are, are really important. I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. It's been a true pleasure. Thank you very much, Wade. It's been a pleasure for me, too. I chose French Design Builders uh, when I got into the development business uh, with a uh, colleague at the time who had a, an existing relationship and an ongoing relationship with French. Um, through that, I'd seen some of the buildings and some of the work that they'd done and uh, you know, was impressed with the work, liked the people there, and decided to, to go with French for that reason. Um, French uh, handles the whole construction process from, from start to finish, from uh, you know, spending a lot of time on the front end in the planning process of, of the building, um, and then you know, all the way through to uh, you know, execution, um, you know, turning over the building. Um, but you know, there's somebody there that you, know, you have a person that you work with uh, from beginning to end, it doesn't get handed off to some other, you know, department. It's, uh, you know, you have a point person um, for the entire process. Since completing that initial building um, in 2000, we've done two more uh, projects with French. One was a uh, 40,000 square foot uh, build out, uh, interior build out of a building. And the other was a complete, uh, completely refurbishing an older building, uh, basically taking it down to the steel frame and, uh, and, and rebuilding it. So, uh, not only would I recommend French to to uh, to my friends, but I, you know, I've gone back and, and used them repeatedly uh, and exclusively uh, in the in the pro in the development process. Uh, we built the first building with French. Uh, it was finished in about two th in I think 2000. 
um, you know, the building turned out to be exactly what we were looking for in terms of um, the functionality that we wanted out of the building. So, you know, speaking to the to the design process, um, you know, it was designed around a function, uh, the, the function that we wanted to achieve, and, and uh, it's turned out to be exactly that. Uh, the building has, uh, you know, to this point, it's, uh, you know, I, I view it as a, you know, sort of brand new building, even though it's at this point about eight years old. Um, so the the, you know, the 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 workmanship, uh, the, the subcontractors that we used uh, to construct the building were uh, grade A uh, products and, and, and subcontractors. When creating a space that demands the attributes that only glass can provide, French design builders turns to Harold Glass. Whether visibility is a concern or natural light is a must, the team at Harold Glass has the right product and, of course, the best team to install it. French Design Builders relies on Harold Glass for their 43 years of experience to provide and install storefronts, plate glass, windows, doors, and more. With me now is Marty Barnes of Barnes Buildings and Management Company. Marty, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Wade. Pleasure to have you here. You play a pretty big role in terms of some of the buildings that French Design Builders is putting together. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we're a subcontractor and we specialize in engineered building systems, okay. uh, steel systems that is. And um, what we do is we work with uh, contractors, similar to French, but French is a, a very good customer of ours. Um, and what we do is we supply and install the building system with our own field forces. Okay. We also offer uh, design assistance and uh, coordination. And basically what we do is we pull together that entire building envelope as a package. So you're, you're supplying a full-size service then to, to your builders? That's what we do. You're specifically working on the FedEx buildings, I believe, with, uh, with French Design, correct? Yes, we've, um, we've actually done two FedEx buildings with, uh, with French. Uh, Rick Hall brought us in uh, back in, I believe, 2001. We did the first building, and uh, we just recently completed uh, building number two. And so you're responsible for the roof, the wall systems, and the truss systems there, correct? Yeah, we come in, and what we do is uh, we erect the structural system and we install the wall system and insulation in the entire roof system, standing seam roof, and, uh, and it's, it's an insulated package. And I imagine when you're building a, a building that large, uh, you need to put it together with a system like that. Marty, why, why is this system better than, say, a traditional system? Well, um, a few reasons, um, and not always is it the best system, but in, in a majority of low-rise construction, it has proven to be a real winner. Okay. And the and, uh, reason being is, first of all, you can get an estimate almost immediately. The building does not have to be designed by an outside engineer. Uh, we can actually design this building ourselves in our office with our computer automated systems. Um, we can generate a proposal in a hard estimate in a matter of days, actually hours, to give to our customer. From there, the customer can make a determination if he wants to move forward. If he does, we're able to bring that building on site in a very short period of time. Uh, we put an order in for the building system. Generally, fabrication times run anywhere from six weeks to 14 or 15 weeks, depending on the complexity. And when the building comes on site, we're ready to jump on it. That's pretty impressive in terms of the turnaround. I, I imagine that's, uh, that provides a lot of cost savings for the, the, the client, the tenant, and, and also the builder that's putting up the other. Marty, thanks so much for being on the show today. It's been Thank a you, pleasure. Wade. With me now is Tony Souza of SNS Concrete Form Construction. Tony, welcome to the show. Thank you. Pleasure to have you here today. Obviously, you're responsible for the concrete. You're also responsible for the forms, and that's a big responsibility because that's the foundation of any French building. Tell me about the process. Absolutely. It starts uh, in the ground up, and without a good foundation, you don't have a good building. Absolutely. And uh, we've been working for French for a few years now, and. They've been a great company to work for. Uh, they have very professional staff. And that's important to you because you need to get your job done when you said you were going to get it done. And of course, the bigger picture, the building itself, and to the client, that's important too because if everything stays on schedule, the cost stays where it is and it's, it's, it's about efficiencies. Speaking of efficiencies, you're pretty efficient. You own, not only own the forms, but you also own the concrete company that mixes the concrete as well as the pumping trucks. That means efficiency, I imagine. We do. It's, uh, it, it's been working out really well. We started the form company in 1985 and uh, the concrete company in 1999 and a concrete pump company in the year 2000. One thing just led to another. One feeds the other and it gives us control of our projects. We have it when we need it. And there's no 
relying on anyone else because in the end, French's project is the most important thing and it's important for us to get it done on time for them and the less people we have to rely on, the better off we are. I imagine really the bottom line of it all is better control much more control. You have a truck that breaks down, you're going to work a lot harder making sure you're going to get another pumper truck over to where that concrete is oh, because yeah. that's your concrete. Oh, yeah. Those are your forms, those are your guys. So yep. that's, that's important, uh, an important aspect of owning those three businesses. It's greater control. That's what it's all about. How about crews? How, how large of a crew do we have? Uh, it depends on the jobs. Okay. We, can, we can have one crew going out to one huge job or we can break it up. If it's residential, we can break them up, usually five, six. Okay. If it's residential, sometimes two, three when it's commercial. So you've got the manpower, how about the machinery? We've got the manpower, we've got the machinery, we've got uh, four rough terrain cranes. For We use the Amiva gang form system, it's a German form system for walls anything over uh, 12 to 18 feet. You go into a gang form system, it's uh, a great system, uh, to me the best in the world. Uh, and we're right on top of the, uh, the latest and greatest. And that's Whatever. important as well. So you've got the crew, you've got the machinery, you've got the product. And Tony, I can see why French has chosen your company. Thanks for being on the show today. It's thank you. It's a pleasure. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank Rick Hall of French Design Builders for spending his time with us, and we hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Wade Kings. Thanks for watching We Built This City. Idea for business, travel, and Connecticut getaways alike. Groton Inn and Suites features spacious lodging to fit all tastes and budgets. Unique among hotels near Mystic, Connecticut, accommodations include standard double rooms, deluxe suites with separate sleeping and sitting areas, one and two bedroom apartments, offering a vast selection of hotel amenities to fit all travel needs, including guest coin laundry, valet service, and our lounge. For a more extensive menu, dine at the Groton Inn and Suites restaurant for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, featuring our famous prime rib. We are suitable for hosting any size event. Groton Inn and Suites. Home away from home in Groton and Mystic, Connecticut. The Radisson Plymouth Hotel Harbor is conveniently located across the street from historic Plymouth Harbor and is only a short walk from many Plymouth attractions. Whether traveling on business or leisure, you'll experience their warm hospitality, inviting atmosphere, and top-notch services. Come discover all the features they have to offer, including a pool and fitness center, comfortable and spacious suites, complimentary wireless high-speed internet, banquet facilities, and much more.